Hey guys, Kevin Cage back with another cryptocurrency video. I have a great one for you guys. We have some exciting news today regarding some new partnerships for the network gateways and payment infrastructure in Europe. So let's get into the news. And again, guys, if you like what you see and you you know value the content, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. It really does make a big difference and helps the channel a lot. So with that, let's get into it. Right here, FinTech Finance. I actually saw this was shared by Darren Moore on Twitter at Fame Moore. And basically, as you can see here, the ECB, so the European Central Bank, chooses SIA or SIA and Colt and their technology group based out of the UK to provide all European financial institutions with single access connectivity services to target two tips. T2S and ECMS. And so basically, when we click into this article, really quick, as you can see right here, though, chooses SIA and Colt for the access. So it's right here in their banner. So pretty exciting. We see the smart contracts. They're already looking at blockchain technology. And for those of you that don't know, they are based out of Italy. They are a huge, basically, information and communications group right here. Three of the 20 central banks using SIA solutions real-time gross settlement, and I want to emphasize this before we get into more things. So it says the most sophisticated real-time gross settlement systems in the world, and they emphasize how it's a hybrid solution. So, I mean, they work with a bunch and bunch of groups. I believe it's at least a half a billion dollars um, in over 50 countries. I know I've done videos on SIA in the past, and I believe in Italian. I don't know if they just say SIA. I'm not sure, but feel free to let me know down below. And they have a bunch of good news all the time, um, just so you can kind of look at everything. The website is extremely well laid out. And this is what I wanted to emphasize. So the most sophisticated hybrid real-time gross settlement system in the market. They kind of talk here, and I just wanted to highlight this. The real-time gross settlement provides for very sophisticated multi-currency functionality with domestic and regional configurations. And if you look back at, you know, all these deals and, you know, different groups testing Ripple's XRP and even using, you know, X current, it'll make a lot of sense in the future, especially when we already have a bunch of liquidity and it's only gr going to grow, especially with the connections to the central bank. And it's highly probable that XRP will be used in some form in terms of a settlement mechanism. But let's kind of get into the news regarding this. So basically, SIA or SIA, I'm just going to use them interchangeably, is with a partnership and they're based out of Italy with Colt Technology Services and they're based out of the UK. And they basically won a tender commission by the ECB for a provisioning of connectivity services between, look at this, allowing European central and commercial banks, central depositories, automated clearing houses and other payment service providers to connect directly to the euro system market infrastructure through a single access interface and that is referred to as the euro system single market infrastructure gateway esmig and for those of you who don't know i mean tips we basically it's the instant payment settlement initiative we have settlement of large value payments which is the target two and also we have securities moving as well so there's all kinds of different payment infrastructure, um, things moving through these systems, and it's very exciting to see this. And so they're very excited to have this as one of the two network services. Let's see, I, I did want to cover something, but I can't remember where. I mean, obviously, though, the numbers speak for themselves, guys, and they keep emphasizing in all of the articles I'm reading about scalability. That's not Bitcoin, that's not Ethereum. This is for real-time gross settlement. And who do you think has that use case? Obviously, XRP. This is what they're going after. And I've said this again and again. XRP, in terms of Ripple, the private company, they're going after the international payments and you know settlements. And then I think R3, as I'll cover in a second or so, R3, of course, is going to cover the other private and public sectors as well and the other industries. So 650 financial institutions globally, 18 of the 25 largest banks, over 50 stock exchanges, and 13 European central banks. So exciting time, times, guys. I uh, recommend that just kind of check out this website too, see their solutions, see what they're working on. Um, it's very well known that they take you know blockchain very seriously. And so I'm excited for the future with this. Um, 
And right here, let's see here. As I was just saying, I am Legion was sharing this. And this is always just a, I love, um, I think it's status or status. He makes these. And I'm always just a big fan of these. So in international money transfers, Ripple will be the main player. R3, however, that huge consortium, will do other areas. Trade finance, real estate, healthcare, supply chain management. I believe, you know, well, I guess healthcare could be, you know, medical technology and biomedical tech. But just very, very interesting. Um, along with this, kind of just something as a fun fact with Cobalt 58 was the name of a wallet. And obviously Cobalt was known to increase the um you know transactions and using the most efficient path for xrp so it's pretty interesting to see here cobalt is just the wallet name um so pretty interesting and again the atomic weight of cobalt the actual element is like 58.9 so that 589 that's just another conspiracy for you guys i'm not sure if there's any weight to this but it does make one wonder and then let's see before i get over my head right here mr cugs on twitter and i just want to emphasize this so the more blockchains on the interledger protocol the more value that will be moved the more value that's moved the more xrp will bridge that value the more you think you're winning the more we know we've already or we already won xrp the standard very very cool here and then yep right here uh actually shared i found it shared by ian northing and he just shared this tweet by Mr. Beast XRP. So interesting. We'll start to see a real use case by ICB Banking Group. And ICB Banking Group is basically in Switzerland. Um, I believe I have the website up. Yep. So right here, they are an emerging market focused banking group. And of course, Ripple, the private company, has been targeting the emerging markets. They're going to be gathering that because that is where the biggest problems lie in terms of international settlement and payment. And they're going to be working with, I mean, already they have different areas of commercial banks in Tanzania, which is East Africa, and Bangladesh, which is South Asia. So pretty interesting just to see that. Um, if you guys just see all of the connections, it really does start to make more and more sense. And it does make one wonder. So I encourage you guys to check this website out as well. See the connections. Kind of check this out. Um, so we do have the ICB wallet. Look at the sender balance over 11 million XRP. I'm a little jealous. Um, and just seeing these transactions, and this is why I just love the ledger, because you can see everything that's happening. You can confirm it. And now, I mean, if you want, you can try to keep an eye on this address in particular and really track it. And I love all the whale watchers that we have in the community. But guys, I have a bunch of more information to cover later on in some next videos. Hopefully you found this interesting. The biggest thing I wanted to get across is that SIA or SIA, is very interested in blockchain they've been investing for years and years and years you can see documentation going back to like 2014 i believe um and i'm really really excited to see if this real-time growth settlement system will include xrp at all and you can call me crazy but i would probably you know be 90 percent you know certain that it will include xrp in one form or another even if it's just for one last part of the settlement mechanism and i think if ripple's not involved then r3 will be and i think there's going to be a, a bunch of other huge groups that are going to have a vested interest in seeing the valuation of xrp increase along with that utility because it's the best position asset very curious to see where we go from here. Bitcoin is, you know, I believe we I saw it at 9,300 earlier. Not sure if XRP is finally going to break away and will at least, you know, crush the previous resistance. Long term, guys, I'm going to keep buying it, you know, even when it's under a dollar, even when it's under $10, I'm extremely bullish and just, you know, do what you can and dollar cost average along the way. So hopefully you found this information valuable. Be sure to hit that like button. Please, please, please subscribe if you haven't already. And anyone that shares the video, I really do appreciate it. Trying to get to 10K subscribers this month, which is a personal goal. And again, I appreciate it. And until next time.